Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. Ha! Jose Here trying to sell Modest little homestead, isn't it? all this amount of moonshine oh, back to the power. to the owners What's of this moonshine. <laughs> moonshine <laughs> Some guy. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Ah. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May All I right. speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's at the house. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you hills. was in the market <laughs> for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's out. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Uh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? Exactly. <laughs> Pay the man. Oh, huh. that was easy. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know mm. what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. Okay, miss. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. I don't believe this. Here we go. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free! Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we yeah. better the Be careful. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky time. Are oh, you serious? Where's my... Bounty! Whoa! There you go, sir. Enjoy your drink. Yay! Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Vanity, now it's your opportunity. You're fine, man. A fine man. Don't listen to your brother. I know. Keep drinking, guys. Everything is free for you. <laughs> Woo! Drink up, drink. Oh. Uh, I, uh, these guys, the Limoine Raiders. Quiet libation. You, me, What's you the problem? bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Oh, Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get them. Oh, hey, hey. I knew it. Yeah, uh, these are the guys from Shady Bad. Good job, Arthur. Easy over. Well, hey, hey, hey. This one. Come on, get up here. Think you can steal from us? You're dead men. 
You are dead, man. Where? Where are you? Oh shit. Devo's here. Nice. Phantom. Move. Let's get the hell out of here, you fucking lemonade raiders. I'm getting us out of here. Got shit. more coming after us. In front of you, Arthur. In front of me. I told you, Jose, we're pushing this too much. Chit Ah They're like everywhere. No Bye bye. Made it. Think you can steal from us? You're dead man! Yes I can because I already did. Where is the gold that you were talking about, Jose? Fuck this moonshine. Don't think so. You think that woman set us up? Leave it. No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make it out to you yet. <laughs> uh. I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you Where got is all this gold? inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need Don't money. Seems that we way. have the opportunity Dutch. here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Probably. Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Perfect Braithwaite guy. Manor too. Now you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we got Don't be jealous. Each family <laughs> that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. As I said before, we're pushing this too far. Payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. This is insane. We decided to play... A dangerous game yeah. against these two families. Uh, Thank you very much. Please come in, sir. Yeah, appreciate it. Some better. Uh, this way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the oh. other liquor vendor. Hi, Sean. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? Well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think 
Well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper? Bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. What are we doing here? Can I drive? No. Nope. Yeah, please. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. Don't call me English. Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. Of course, cool, well, not maybe. Here. Of course they're gonna... I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally. Stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yeah. This is gonna be funny. Do an impression of a this kind of mission with Sean. I like Sean. <laughs> Proper Irish. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. What do you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a thing <laughs> at the saloon. Nice talking. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. Uh, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal. You're from Donegal? My Can God. Yeah. <laughs> I went to work over in Donegal for a few months. Yeah, some kind of incident with my, uh, with my Irish town. uncle. I was told to bring this up here. And Glanties, no I remember. Tell you my no God. Lies, uh, business, nice memories. Uh, I love you, Sean. Hey, before the officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a <laughs> drink, Sean. Has to be done. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on... Uh, sorry. <laughs> Shit. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. So we're gonna burn all their tobacco of the, of the greys. They're gonna Good. go mad. You already got these things ready. I prefer the greys from the great ways. I don't know why. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's yeah. how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rain, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. I'm pretty sure they're gonna... Let's head out the back. They're gonna get us. They're gonna... Look, they will know they that... Wind of us. Our gang was to do this, back, you know. So move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel new, stock, just boy. new in town. I was barb one of their manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Business is going great nowadays. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Okay, let's go to Sean. I'm gonna douse this too. What are we gonna do now? Ah, oh, really? What's this? Ah, oh, leaves. Back on. Burn, child, burn, baby. Yeah. Burn, motherfuckers. Yay. Reminds me of my childhood. Ah, oh, shit, they're shooting us. Fuck. Ah, 
I am sorry, Grace. Where are we going? Where are we going, Sean? Oh, yeah, where for the bonds? All right, where is this way? Shit! Lord of the bastards! You're dead! Come on! Look out! Here come more of them! They didn't tell me nothing. Down this way. Let's go in the middle of the flames. Where are the fuckers? Let's go. Oh, say you better get us paid real well for this. I really hope so. Is it there? We did good, Morgan. We did good. Yay! Great, but let's go. That was some nice fire there. <laughs> Here we are. Home sweet home. Nice. Let Jose know how we got on. You don't know me. You turn up in town and you're helping everybody. See? And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attacked my fields. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. Hi, man. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family oh. of degenerates. Really? Oh, well, Is that nobody so? Nobody likes degenerates. Hag no. and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. Where is We've it? We've got gold. I ain't no sick Yankee, of this friend. Shit. Ain't nothing. My daddy came over on a boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. <laughs> I don't know. We Mongols. hate each other. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you. Five thousand. Five thousand? For horses? Easy. And where do what? we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Hell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. That's a lot of cash. I you know, guys, five thousand dollars back in um, my sense is we keep all nineteen hundred from the public. It was a lot of cash. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser. Hey! Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Yeah. We're gonna do some <laughs> reading. Sorry. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. I sure will. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What mm. is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Saratoga. Of course. Uh, this here's Cerberus. Oh, there you go, boy. There you go, boy. Sorry, Cerberus stay with him. <laughs> uh -huh. Greaser, huh? Slip tight. Okay, bandana's on. And then, and then, and then, and then. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Oh, shit. Go, get out of here. I got what the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! Run! Ah! Uh. Stop! Fuck you, Bray Waves! You and your grandma! They're coming out of the fields! Oh, shit. 
They're just horses. Come on. Watch out by that wagon. More of them. Wagon. We got more on horseback. Keep going. I'll carry. Ah. Uh, fuck you. They're following us. Of course they are. Nice and easy. Shit! They blocked our way out! We'll have to Didn't go they? through the fields! Look there! The fence is down! Come on! Mount, He's a tree mount. fine horse. This might take one for myself. Hey! Stay here! You wanna die for some horses? Go back to your home! Hey! Hi, gentlemen. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's uh, my brother, Clyde. Uh, 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 hi, We're Clyde. twins. Uh, dumb and John, dumb. Arthur, Javier. <laughs> so what are you, Cuban? No. I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's <laughs> funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you, I'd give you 654. What? It's <laughs> supposed to be 5,000, I knew it. thousand dollars for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. <laughs> Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But. I like you boys. But I ain't got more on. than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're going to need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it. Or leave it. Uh huh. All right. <sighs> Goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. See you boys again. I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagine we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Seven hundred dollars, a hundred and sixteen in our pocket. What a fucking shame. Arthur, Arthur. Hi, Dutch. What is gonna happen now? These two fucking families. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to take charles with you oh the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets hmm. okay i um, mean only charles charles is a little bit scary is he let's go charles we need to go to work charles i need you for some business in town come on okay i think it's just up here so this Trelawney is like, he's part of the gang, but he's an outsider, like he works, um, he doesn't stay with us at the camp, he just, you know, he goes and finds some, some nice cores around, and now we have to see if he knows something about some, um, bounty hunters that are chasing us. Someone oh. got here first. Uh, he's in danger, is he? So it seems. Uh, By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Shit. Check the house. Bed's not made. 
So he must have been here recently. There's some blood here. That ain't good. What happened to you, Trelawney? They went down the path here. Huh. They seem to head into the forest now. Hey, look. Oh. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Arthur, where are you going? I want answers. Where's Trelawney? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're uh we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller. Sort of formal. Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. Uses a cane. No, they don't convince me. Like this one. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right. They know something. Where the hell die. is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Let's keep one alive at least. Stranger, where is he? I don't want to hurt where you. Is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Oh shit! Come on. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. Okay. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay. For Christ's sake! I took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Who are these guys? Cornfields. Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Fuck off. Fucking mother. Fuck off. All I don't, right. don't like it. I should do it. That must be it. Okay, we found him. He must be in here. Hold following up. the trucks. Let's get you out of here. Uh, there you go. Um, guys, you got the wrong man. Leave him alone. Put the man down, gentlemen. That's a lot of them. I think so. So you're alive. Allegedly. Don't worry, they won't. These fuckers are bounty on us. They want to know where they where we were. They've gone into the cornfield. We need to flush them out. Are you serious? Ah. Found you. Fucker. Where did he go? Where did he go? Stop hiding, you cowards. You serious? Come Fuck on. off. I got one. I'm telling you now. You boys ain't leaving here. Ah! Found him! You're dead, you bastard! Good job, Charles. We got one more, Charles! Hey! I see something on the ground over here! Whoa. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Uh, I can't believe I'm playing hide and seek with you. Ah! Shit! <laughs> Charles! <coughs> Charles! Uh, He's mine! Uh, I'm not yours. Let me get out of here. He's joking. Have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll uh, give you money. Be quiet. Nice one. Clap, 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 Charles. Come That's on. some style. You should have taken the money. No. <laughs> I'm a fucking fool. bounty earners. <sighs> uh, shit. It's loot, it's fucker. Of course. You okay? Ah, yeah. 30 pounds. Fine. Nice. Whoa. Ah. Shit. Ah. What are you doing here? Come on, you bastard. He's backing off inside. Get after him. There he is. Good. You 
should be the last of them. <sighs> All right, let's go back for Trelawney. You okay? Never finer. So, oh, you look. who was He's they? fine. They were bounty hunter. Should be where? Attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Wonder why. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you, gentlemen, for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Bounty hunters, Pinkerton's lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. So I guess we have a new enemy behind our backs, which is these fucking bounty owners. And they think a war is gonna start now between the Greys and the Great Waves, and us in the middle. So let's see what's gonna happen. And um, if you enjoyed watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you to the next video, Outlaws. Bye bye.